ES Audio. Hello, I'm Mark Blunden, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the high and low tech measures Europe's taking to battle a heat wave. But first, far across the universe in a distant galaxy, astronomers have spotted a strange radio signal that keeps firing out towards Earth in fast bursts. These bursts are coming from billions of light years away and last up to three seconds, which is a thousand times longer than the usual such radio signals. And it's the clearest pattern ever recorded. The team at MIT who made the discovery say the pulses are particularly unusual as they appear to somewhat mirror the boom boom of a human heartbeat. So what's causing this mysterious heartbeat beam from across the universe? Is it alien life? Is it E.T.? Well, the main suspect for the source is a bit less mysterious. They are thought to be certain neutron stars, which are known as radio pulsars and magnetars, which spin very fast and create strong radiation. British scientists claim some train delays could be caused by space weather after they found solar storms have caused malfunctions in railway signalling systems. Research by Lancaster University claims solar activity can cause electrical currents flowing on Earth to interfere with signals, turning them from green to red even if there are no trains nearby. Researchers say even moderate solar storms can offset the balance of electrical currents, but stronger solar storms cause more signals to malfunction, which in turn can increase the amount of time a train can be delayed. Staying with the heatwave currently blasting Europe, where are the biggest areas of risk? Well, it's left some old glaciers in the Alps at risk from the extreme temperatures, and the Rhone Glacier in Switzerland is among those in trouble, resulting in big covers placed on top of it to stop it melting. Wildfires have also struck in Portugal, Spain and the south of France, and in Madrid, seals at the Zoo Aquarium are being fed with frozen fish to try and keep them cool. The World Meteorological Organization warns that human-caused climate change is sparking droughts, while a United Nations report expects the number of wildfires to increase by 30% in the decades ahead. And it looks like the UK is just as at risk from these extreme weather events. The Met Office's Greg Dewhurst reckons temperatures are only going to get higher. All models are suggesting that heat waves like we're going to see coming up will become more and more common rather than sort of every 5, 10, 15 years or so be every year and then the extremes will become more extreme and at some point we'll be looking at you know temperatures over 40 degrees which has never happened in the UK that we've recorded. The meteorologist was speaking to the Leader podcast on Wednesday about the risks of the current UK heat wave. A painting that is most certainly a previously unknown self-portrait of Vincent van Gogh has been discovered by the National Galleries of Scotland. The extraordinary find is believed to be the first for a UK institution and was discovered by an x-ray taken of van Gogh's head of a peasant woman from 1885, head of the forthcoming A Taste for Impressionism. When we saw the x-ray for the first time, of course, we were hugely excited. Such a major discovery happens once, twice in a concern lifetime. Professor Francis Fowle is a senior curator at the Scottish National Gallery. Hidden from view for over a century, the portrait was found on the back of the canvas covered by layers of glue and cardboard. Van Gogh was known for reusing canvas to save money by turning it round and working on the opposite side. His left ear, which he famously cut off in 1888, is clearly visible. BMW is being criticised for putting a key comfort feature behind essentially a £15 a month paywall. Yes. Paying for the connected drive feature also turns on the adapted suspension, which is a walled-off feature only in the UK, South Africa, New Zealand and Germany. Carmaker says the idea of the subscription is for drivers to be able to try out new features for a short-term trial before committing to a purchase. Now, games developer EA has urged Skate 4 fans not to download the title after it was leaked ahead of release comes after some beta footage of the new game appeared online, leading EA to issue a statement saying an earlier version of the game had been distributed online without authorization. But could EA be shooting themselves in the foot by letting people know it's out there? One gaming site suggests if they just kept it hush-hush, not many people would have known the test version was out in the wilds of the internet. Let's go to the ads. Stay there for more news from the world of tech and science, plus why scientists are headed to the Arctic after a public project to count walruses. 
why not hit rate and follow in the meantime. Welcome back. A study is suggesting people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, that's a build-up of fat cells in the liver, may have a higher risk of dementia. The research by the Karolinska Institute in Sweden also indicates that people with the disease who also have heart disease and who have had a stroke might have an even higher risk of dementia. When other factors like high blood pressure and diabetes were taken into consideration, the study found that when compared to people without liver disease, those with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease had a 38% higher rate of dementia overall. Research suggests non-alcoholic fatty liver disease affects up to 25% of people worldwide and is the most common chronic form of liver disease. And finally, (coughs) scientists are headed to the Arctic to check the results of a citizen science survey counting walruses from space. Researchers from the British Antarctic Survey, WWF UK and the Norwegian Polar Institute will study walrus populations in Svalbard, Norway to validate data gathered from public counts of the marine mammal in satellite images. It's part of the Walrus from Space Research Project, which was launched in October 2021 and asked people to take part in a walrus census by detecting them in thousands of images gathered by satellites, helping study the impact of climate change. Now the team will travel by boat to spots where walruses are known to come to rest on land, where they will be counted visually by using the human eye and also drones. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for The Leader, where we bring you the latest news, interviews and analysis from the Evening Standard here in London. And we'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.